McDowell, LAPD homicide. Who are you? Jack Lawson, DEA, the man in charge. Oh, really? Well, I got two LAPD officers in there. I'm taking charge. This is a DEA operation. Your officers were assisting one of my men on a bus. You're doing a bang-up job so far. Ah, uh, damn, I got my suit dirty. You realize how much this costs? They do, I got two of them. Nobody takes my stash, man! Anybody trying to follow you, you're picking this guy up in pieces off the highway, man! I'll kill him, man! Yeah. So how you feeling, August? Well, all things considered. I've been better. I've heard it's painful getting shot in the... Hey, hey. I was shot in the hip, Chase, okay? In the hip. Right, right, the hip. Whatever you say, partner. Hey, listen, partner, I want you to be careful out there, you hear? You get yourself into a jam, you're not gonna have me around to bail you out. You know me, August, I'm always careful. <laughs> yeah, right. What? What, what? Someone's in my parking spot. I gotta call you back. Your parking space. Gentlemen. You've all heard of Bobby Cole. Because of Cole's activities, our schools are literally flooded with drugs. Elementary school kids are selling drugs to their classmates. We think that Cole is responsible for 27 murders in the last two years. 
But the DEA has discovered a crack in his organization. They want the LAPD to help him blow it wide open. This is Agent Jack Lawson of the DEA. He's going to be heading up this operation. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank the LAPD for helping out uh, the DEA on this endeavor. Now, that's my Porsche. It has absolutely nothing to do with the operation. I just like looking at it. <laughs> now, we believe Bobby Cole has a major stash of cocaine stored in this warehouse. Now, the plan is to have me and another agent enter and station ourselves at this bank of windows. I'll survey the scene from up above and give SWAT the order to come in through this door and make the bust. <clears throat> Yes, Detective McDonald? Well, uh, excuse me. I, I was just wondering, um, so you and the other agent won't take part in the actual bust? We'll survey the scene. And I'll give the order to go in and make the bust. Huh. You have a better idea, Detective? Well, now that you ask, <laughs> may I? Hey, thanks. I like these things. Well. Uh, in my opinion, it's silly to leave two men up here on the roof. I mean, a bus like this requires every available man. My suggestion is that after you give the order, you drop down from the roof here so that SWAT has a diversion that they can work with. Unless, of course, you're uh, afraid of a little action. I like it. And since you have such a good grasp of the operation, you can go in with them. Uh, but, Captain... No buts. Remember. We're working together on this operation. OK, everybody, that's it. McDonald's, you better suit up. Right, Captain. You know, uh, my old Porsche's blue. Thanks, Captain. Let me tell First. What do you mean you're going in first? The captain said we should work together. Here, hold the window. Who's the guy on the computer? Hey, that looks like the monk. The monk? Cole's accountant. What a bonus. Douglas. Okay, Mr. Cole, I'll ask him. Mr. Cole wants to know how much longer. Four, maybe five hours. What's all that stuff? It's a rope. A rope? How else are we gonna get down? Oh, right. You bring a rope for me? Sorry. Sure. Okay, Mr. Cole. You got two hours. There's no way I...
So you're the monk. Well, Mr. Monk, you're gonna give me Bobby Cole. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, you didn't catch him? He got away. Hey, you know that's my bus. Hey, you got your drugs. There were no drugs in that warehouse. Oh, gee, well, I guess that means I have jurisdiction. Have a nice day. Hey, hold up, let's, let's talk about this. Okay, we're ready to go. We? Well, I figured with August out, you might need some help cracking this guy. I mean, we're talking about nabbing Bobby Cole. Let's do it. Let's do it. I told the officer all I know. I work freelance. Someone brings me receipts, billings. I do the work, I get paid, I go home. Are you kidding me, Monk? You're gonna sit there and tell me you've never heard of Bobby Cole? Right. Your former partner, Freddie, you ever hear of him? Well, before you answer, let me refresh your memory, all right? You were there the night he was shot and killed. We know you saw Bobby Cole pull the trigger. I don't know what you're talking about. Cole's man almost killed you at the warehouse. Bobby Cole knows you're here. He thinks you're talking. We let you go. Cole's going to make sure you're dead. I told you. I don't know these people, OK? For a while anyway. We're gonna give you some time to mull over your situation. Maybe you'll come to understand that we are your best hope in this life. Not bad, Captain. Thank you. Shut up and listen. I will take care of the monk. It is Douglas that concerns me. Actually, I feel bad for him. He must be suffering for his failures. Uh. Douglas takes his failures to heart. He will try desperately to redeem himself. This concerns me as we both know what he is capable of. Yes. Yes, let's find our friend Douglas. Find him quickly before he acts. Tell him, tell him he is forgiven. Then send him to a better place. Never touch me unless I touch you first. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Let me write you a check for those poor, suffering children you've spoken so eloquently about. Please, have a seat. Ingrid will bring out some refreshments, and I'll grab my checkbook. FBI's heard about our little kidnapping. Special Agent Schoenlock is flying in to take custody of our account. What? They can't do that. Oh, really? 
We're thinking IRS going after Cole for tax fraud. Tax fraud? I mean, what's that gonna get him? Five out and two. I mean, Captain Monk is an eyewitness. He saw Cole kill his partner. That's murder one. Life without parole. I know, I know. Shonrock's coming in with muscle. Well, Captain, can't you stall him? I mean, let me see if I can break Monk, get his testimony on videotape. I'll see what I can do, but we gotta come up with something fast. Chase, the detective just finished their search of the Monk's apartment over in Park La Brea. Tell me they found something I can use to break the Monk. Dream on. The man lives like his name. He's an accountant. He didn't even have a computer in there. The most interesting thing he's got is a set of bowling balls. Bowling balls? Yeah, he's on a league or something. All right, all right. Did you call New Jersey? Yeah, the nursing home and the sheriff. They've got two deputies and the monk's mother 24 hours a day until we give them the word. Never been married, no siblings. His mother's under protective custody. At least there's no one on the outside that Cole can threaten. Yeah. See ya. Thanks, Annie. down on the murder one. That's what we are trying to do, Sean Rock. And your prosecutors, they're gonna go right for the juggler, huh? Just like they did with O.J.? We have an eyewitness. What you've got here is a terrified little accountant who's gonna get up there on that stand and fall apart the minute he looks out and sees Bobby Cole sitting at the defense table. No, gentlemen. Now, the simple fact of the matter is we'll take Bobby Cole down on tax fraud. Just like Al Capone, boring, but effective. Agent Schoenrock, I've got one shot here of taking Bobby Cole off the street forever, and I will be damned if I'm going to let that slip away. Come on, we all know how effective L.A. jurisprudence is. Bobby Cole is a player in this town, and that means he can get to the jurors. Besides, he's probably already got half your city government on his payroll. Just relax, guys. Let us take care of business. So, if there'll be nothing else, I'm ready to take the monk into custody, Captain Jensen. For the moment, the monk is my prisoner. And I'm gonna hold him until I get something in writing from an administrator of the FBI. You are making a big mistake here, Captain. No. I don't think so. I think we're going to get a video statement out of the monk that's going to put Bobby Cole right where we want him. Locals. It looks like Bobby Cole is sending messages. The monk's bowling team, they've just been massacred. What are you doing here? It's a homicide investigation. These murders are possibly drug-related. Therefore, I am within my jurisdiction to investigate. You want to hear what I got? Do I have a choice? The manager got a good look at the shooter. It was Bobby's man. Oh, you mean the guy you let get away at the warehouse? Fits the description. So all these guys knew Monk? Yeah. 
Manager said the shooter came down out of the pin setting machine, stood there right in the middle of the alley, and just mowed everybody down. Said they were on the same bowling team for 10 years. Call themselves the bottom line bowlers. What are you doing? Got a bullet. If our guy used the same assault rifle as he did at the warehouse, we got a match. That doesn't make any sense. If he wanted to take him out, he could have just shot him all right out in the parking lot. Unless Bobby Cole told him to make a statement. Or unless the guy's a loose cannon looking for revenge. Loose cannon. <laughs> Takes one to know one. Hi, guys. Hey, Samantha, what are you doing here? Annie called me in. These are the bullets from the warehouse where you nabbed the monk. These are from the bowling alley. And these others Samantha pulled from the victims. Please tell me we got a match. Dead bang match. Yes. Well, we've got descriptions, we've got bullets, we've got motive guys. What we don't have is the shooter tied to Bobby Cole. But we do have the shooter tied to the monk. Not good enough, Chase. Well, why don't we put a little pressure on Bobby Cole? No, we're not going to get anywhere leaning on Cole. Our one opening is the monk, Chase. And right now, Shunrock is on the horn to his boss in D.C. trying to take custody. Monk's all we got, Chase. Let's get him back into the interrogation room. If you need anything, I can be here in half an hour, no matter what time of night. You know where to reach me. Oh. Uh, actually, I don't. Uh, maybe you can give me your home number. <laughs> nice try, detective. Smooth, Chase. Earl Hopkins, Ted Cole, Jules Shapiro. Those names ring a bell, Monk? Yeah, I bowled with them. Mm. Past tense, you bowled with them. Bobby Cole had one of his guys blow him away. Their wives are widows now. Their children have no fathers, Monk. Because of Cole, we got kids blowing each other away on the streets because of drugs. And you did this man's books. You kept his operation running. You probably go home at night, sleep like a baby, don't you? Thinking those numbers are just numbers? Well, they're not. You made a lot of that happen. You kept the money train rolling, Monk. You made it all possible. Bobby Cole killed your partner right in front of your face. Because he wanted you for life. Earl, Ted, and Jules. Were they your best friends, Monk? Were they your only friends? Please, leave me alone. You know where you're going next? You're going to the feds. They're gonna pull all those numbers out of your head. They're gonna put them together with the IRS, and then they're gonna go after Cole for tax fraud. Of course, you'll be in the witness protection program, but problem is, tax fraud, and Bobby's gonna be walking around in a couple of you know who the first person is he's gonna come and see? I was a smart man, Monk. Smart enough to find you wherever you are. You have the power to put Cole away for life. With him gone, the organization falls apart. Nobody comes hunting for you. I don't know anyone named Bobby Cole. I thought accountants had brains. He's terrified. But in my experience, these guys have always got buttons to push. All right. So how do we find these buttons? You look at their life. With this guy, it's numbers. Maybe words don't mean anything for him. But down inside, someone's alive. That's the guy we got to connect to. Maybe we give him a slice of hell and then feed him a little taste of heaven. You might have something there, Captain. I think I know just the way we can do that. Good.
Where do you come up with these interrogation techniques? Dragnet. Where else? Every moment he's inside increases the danger. I'm doing all I can, Mr. Cole. Obviously, you're not doing enough. I told you I want him moved. I want him moved now. It, it takes special orders, uh, phone calls, clearances. All of that takes time. What the hell do you think I am paying you for? The monk can take me down. I go down. Everybody goes down with me. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes, sir, I do. your bowling team. Earl. Shot four times. The killing bullet entered the left eye. Ouch. That had to hurt. This is Ted. Shot in the neck. Severed the carotid artery. Jules wasn't quite as lucky as the rest. Apparently, he lived long enough to see his blood drain down the gutter in lane 10. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Surf was up. So, this is the man who's going to bring down Bobby Cole, huh? Samantha, meet the monk. Pleasure. You know, I haven't met many real heroes out there. In fact, I don't think I've ever met one face to face. You know, maybe you and I could get together sometime and talk about how you brought down Bobby Cole. Oh, uh, well, Samantha, he hasn't quite decided yet. Hmm. Well, he'll come through. I can feel that in a man. I'm going to go change in my work clothes. I'll be right back. Seen enough? Samantha? She's not married, huh? Nope. Still looking for the right guy. Whoa! Hey. Boss! What are you doing here? Came to help you catch Bobby Cole. Really? What makes you think I need your help? Because I know things about Bobby Cole you don't. Like what? April 8th, 1995. Four DEA agents raid one of Bobby Cole's warehouses off a tip. We go in, the lights go out. Next thing I know, machine guns are flashing all over the place. There were no drugs in that warehouse. We were sent in there to get blown away. I was one of the lucky ones. I made it out alive. So you see, it isn't about jurisdiction or who can jump the furthest. It goes deeper than that. I need to help you catch Bobby Cole. Stop! <laughs>
on this. Let's go back to the station. We can talk about it there. set up before I go on tape or I don't say another word. You got it all, Monk. One more thing. My mom, she's in a rest home in Toms River, New Jersey. I want her put under the protection program, moved, and the next 10 years paid off in cash. Well, now, Monk, you're starting to mess with the federal deficit. Bobby Cole will find her and kill her, just to spite me. Don't worry, Monk. Your mom's going to be taken care of. I sign the contract with the government. Then I tell you everything you want to know about the murder. Then you should ask me about what Bobby's really doing. What Bobby's really doing? After the contracts. Just get me to the Bahamas. If you throw in Samantha, I'll give you names that'll blow your mind. I gotta meet this Samantha. I don't think she'd like you. Let's go talk to the captain. McDonald's! Hey, Captain. Your heaven hell strategy worked perfectly. The monk's ready to spill his guts. Oh, great. Because we're gonna be playing backup harmony on this anyway. I have a Sean Rock on the phone. They're faxing over the transit documents. Oh, Captain, the monk's not gonna talk until his deal's on paper. I know, but... We have to play along with these guys. Look, I don't like this any more than you do, Chase, but we don't have any choice here. We're supposed to deliver the monk to a location that'll be made known to us in transit. It's safer that way. I hope you got an armored truck, because it's pretty obvious we're being watched. L Lawson's right. I mean, Cole's people are everywhere. You remember that armor-plated limousine that we've got as backup for the Secret Service when the president's in town? It's going to be waiting downstairs in an hour. That stupid thing looks ridiculous. I got some black and whites running interference. I want the two of you in the limousine with the monk. Captain, if they want him so bad, why don't they just come and get him? <laughs> Schoenrock says he's short of manpower. Get out of here and get this taken care of. But Samantha doesn't work with the feds. That's right. Just with us. Oh. Maybe I just want to talk to you. Well, maybe you ought to tell the feds that. Maybe I will. All right. Everyone ready? Let's hit it. Feds? What's the matter with feds? Like that. Who? Samantha. Oh, Samantha. Well, no, actually, she was wearing a little bit more than usual. I think it's your lunch break. Uh, 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 uh. They call small children by the hair. Enjoy the ride.
So we just keep driving around until he does? So much for federal efficiency, huh? All right, I'll call you back. Hey, lay off of the beds, man. Why are we stopping? man's crossing the street. <laughs> we got company on the left side. Driver, get us the hell out of here. This is McDonald. We got major problems here. We're being chased by some maniac in a bus. We're heading south on Figueroa. I guess he won't be testifying against Cole. He won't be stealing any more buses either. FBI guys, it's my witness now. Let's go, Mom. Hey, Shurrock! What are you doing? I'm taking the witness, McDonald. I don't know who the hell I can trust out here. Bobby's got people everywhere. We're coming with you. I've got jurisdiction now. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey. How come we never got a call with the destination? I was calling when they hit McDonald. Damn, feds. 
Something fishy going on here. Hey, where are you going? You're a fed. Anyone you can call in your department that can do a background check on Sean Rock? Call my boss. Hey, boss. Uh, is there any way you could do a background check on an FBI agent named Sean Rock? All right. What do you say? Said to get back to me on that. I wouldn't call that transporting. Something's wrong here. Hit the lights. Sean Rock. He got hysterical, saying he wanted to stay with you guys. What the hell did you say to him about the feds? He didn't say nothing about the feds. You guys just don't get this, do you? You keep thinking that Bobby Cole is just some kind of little street punk drug dealer with big-time connections. You are a local cop, McDonald. And this Bobby Cole thing isn't just about L.A., not anymore. This is business. The monk? He's just a pawn. It's just like Bobby Cole is a pawn. And in this operation, we're gonna checkmate the king. I'm in Bobby Cole's camp, deep undercover for the FBI. I need to stay there. You're on Bobby's payroll. He's a player, you moron. We've been after him for a long time. So the fact here is the monk's death was an accident. Do I make myself clear? How convenient. So what happens next? Now I disappear back inside the FBI and resume the status quo. Not so fast, Sean Rock. Chase, that was my boss. You're not gonna like it. He said to release him. He's untouchable. small token of my appreciation for the work that your foundation is doing. Oh, no, 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 no. We, the citizens of Los Angeles, thank you. Okay. 
Bye-bye.